Welcome back to Oracle of Seasons, Part 24. We are continuing through the ancient ruins. Have more snakes! They did this- wait, wait a second, they did this exact same thing in Mermaid's Cave. Uh-huh. Oh, lucky you. Did it on your second try. Oh my god, these fuck- if it wasn't for the- if it wasn't for the mini-boss shortcut, this would be an extremely frustrating room. Not really, especially now that I've got the noble sword, they only take two shots. It's not the speed in killing them, it's the length of time it takes to go back to that room if they capture you. Ah, this puzzle. Oh, look! This we, is the we, first time that I actually figured out that, hey, I can use my, magne my magnetic gloves to kill things. I think... I think this is the first opportunity you had to to do that to those creatures because nothing else works on those creatures. I don't even know what they're called. They're just they're, fuck you. They're technically called barriers. That's what they're called, yeah. barriers. What an odd name for a creature. Mm, oh, you know, like like like, and rope. But I, rope. <laughs> yes, the snakes are called ropes. They are. Yeah. Cloud, you need to research your entomology some more. Your Zelda entomology is very poor. I mean, there are Redads, Stalfos, Lazalfos, Dinalfos, Zora. Zoras. Whatever the hell these are actually called, because they're not actually called cultists, I just call them cultists. I think they're Stalfos. No, wait, no, that's right, they're not Stalfos. Um. Oh god, I wonder. I, I don't know what those things are called now that I think about it. Three spaces over. No, you're not in the right spot yet, demon. Just let me get to the boss room. It's so close. Yes, it is. They just want to send you. They just want you to spend more time in the dungeon than you have to at this point. Because the boss room is right there. You have to do this first. So many arbitrary puzzles. So many. They. That. Okay, they just wanted you to use the boomerang. Okay, use the boomerang. Now, can I please enter the boss room now? Another problem is that I don't think that there's an owl statue to tell you how you're supposed to take down this boss. I'm, I'm sure it's. Because every. Most of the bosses up to this point required you to use the item. This is the sixth time you're, you're gonna be required to use the dungeon item to kill the boss. Hold it, you didn't need to use the. Uh, the, uh. Thing. What was the item? Um, oh yes, this is the uh, this is the uh, giant choo choo. You cannot damage him with your sword. What you have to do is you have to hit the uh, piranha plants on his side with the magical boomerang. I am yes. terrible at this, and the magic boomerang is not that good at this. This this is one of the, this is one of the more difficult boss fights in the game because you see how much like activity there is. You have to, you have to, well, first of all, you have to negotiate your position along these, these fucking conveyor belt platforms. You have to avoid the projectiles, and you have to aim the boomerang at the, his weak spot. And you can only hurt the piranha plants when their mouths are open. This is a very difficult boss fight, my friend. Yes, I really dislike this boss. I kind of, I dislike this boss, too. Until you realize that the... The faster that you go on the attack, the easier he becomes. Yeah, spam... This is... You're doing good. Spam Pegasus Seeds, keep your speed up, avoid the attacks, and keep hitting him. There's really... There's, there's really no... There's no other way around it at this point. But there should be. I shouldn't have to depend on Pegasus Seeds. This arena is way too... This arena is over-designed. It shouldn't have to compare conveyor belts because positioning yourself to, to damage him is already a pain in the ass thanks to the fact that you have to be in the cardinal directions in order to use the magic boomerang. Yeah. Oh boy. And he gets faster every time you kill one of the piranhas. Exactly. Players. As as long as the fight goes on, it gets more it gets more and more difficult. Especially because the uh, the piranha plants don't actually open up all all that often. Yeah, they're they're a little. He's. I wonder what the word is for that. 
Is that that he's toying with you? It's that he's just being an asshole. Okay, then and now then I die. Run into problems. Because the boss is moving faster than you can, even at maximum speed. Here's the part where we were just at before Gurdat died. Let's kill him now. No, you still can't use your sword on him. He is a choo-choo. Have you learned nothing? <laughs> well, I was hoping that it would be the plants, but no, he's actually a choo-choo. So, what you have to do is you have to continually use the magical boomerang on him to, to, to expose his electrified core. And then you get to swing at him. Yes, and then his core only takes one strike in order to kill him. But again, the arena is just the arena is so over designed that it's all that it's such a pain in the ass to do this fight. I think he's just going in a perfect figure eight now. Yeah, that's that's the movement pattern that he's got. And unfortunately a perfect figure eight is something that I can't do. I can't counter his movements because I I've got to constantly use the Pegasus seeds. What you need to do oh, is, right. you, you... is you need to actually hit him multiple times, and then when he's like this, hit him with your sword. Yep, you have to take, yep, and then take the sword, and then swing! He's dead! That boss is far more annoying than he should be. If the, if the didn't have the, if it didn't have the conveyor, the conveyor sand belts here, that boss would be so much more entertaining to fight. The it's blowing wind, the sweet fruit is born when pollen... Dot, dot, dot. Is carried by the blowing wind. Also, pollen is carried by insects, but there isn't an insect essence of nature. Yeah, I think that I think the essences are going for more the the, the very um, natural elements. The forces of the earth, not the you know, not the creatures that actually support uh, season life. But here's the thing: insects are forces of earth. There, it's that's all. That's incidental, though. Actually, the Earth doesn't care whether or not there are there are insects. It's the insects are here, whether whether any any force you know wants them there or not, or something like that. All right. So after having successfully cleared ancient ruins, we can actually go and get uh, a large portion of the other stuff in. Uh, Oh, I cancelled oh, out Maple. And oh, poor. uh the Sabrosia done, yes. Yes. You can't You see, you, I was you... thinking that oh oh hi Ambi! Ambi! How the fuck did you get here? Yes, it's child... here's the thing, Ambi's been showing up almost constantly throughout the game. It's just that this is the first time I've been able to actually talk to her. How is she here? She's from the past. <laughs> no, as she explains later that, that since this is the length content, that uh, uh, you yeah, she, she's on holiday. Not only not only is she on holiday, but she was able to uh, use uh, the other oracle, uh, Nehru. Uh, yes, Nehru, in order to uh, uh, travel here. Yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. It's like, hey, every, everything, everything in Labrina is fantastic. I even had time to go on vacation thanks to my time traveling fucking travel agent. <laughs> Useless fools can't, can't someone someone find, find me, Bell. Me, yeah. You're a confident adventure. Okay, go get it. Find me, Bell. Thank you. I'll go do that immediately because, God damn it, I've known about that for like half the fucking game so far. And this password that he's incorporating is how to actually open the ruins. Yes. The, the desert. Mm -hmm. At least if, you're, if you forget the instructions. So, Samasa Desert really isn't that far from this shortcut. It's only like five screens from here. Yep. Cool. I think the game is actually starting to lighten up a little bit. Slightly. Just, just slightly. Just slightly. We haven't we haven't reached the explorer's crypt yet. I fucking hate that dungeon. <laughs> I hate it because it's what because platforming ch it has everything everything that's wrong with this game is especially wrong in the explorer's crypt. There are platforming sections. There's game over sequences. They'll make you rip your fucking hair out. And it's the second to last dungeon in the game.
Yeah, yeah, I did it. And welcome to the desert, which actually has a really good music piece. Yeah, I like I like the music piece in this. I it's the same music piece as in the Heroes Cave, mind you. Oh. Yeah. Damn. So some people may go into this with very sour associations. I didn't notice that. They use relatively few mu different music tracks throughout this game. All right, both of but here's our goal. We have to find out where the where the pirate ship is beached. Because, yes, the pirate ship from the underworld is beached in the overworld. Which doesn't make any sense. Exactly. Why the hell what? does ca does Captain whoever, whatever the fuck his name is, have a trans-dimensional pirate ship? Because fucking... because of hell. Hell does not have trans-dimensional pirate ships by principle. But hell breaks the laws of physics. Does it really, though? Kind of. Quicksand is a little jarring now that, I, now that I realize it. Yes, every screen has infinite levers. Yep, just like pretty much every other Zelda game now that I think about it. Ah, uh, you say that, but there are there are there are multiple places where I remember there being a very set amount of levers. Oh look, a fairy cave. Well, when you go to, in, in Ocarina of Time, there's unlimited levers when you go to the Desert Colossus. Um, there's unlimited levers in Twilight Princess. I think there are unlimited levers in the original Legend of Zelda. Just trying to drive home the point that the desert is an inhospitable wasteland. There's the ship! We oh, yeah, have found the beached pirate ship. Oh, Hello I there. I searching the desert for the bell. I got caught in a sandstorm, and I woke like this. I can't go on in the afterlife. If you want to help me, my skull is rolling on the desert. Find that first. How are you dead after having died already? <laughs> I mean, how did you die again after already being dead? <laughs> it is because skeleton pirates from hell. <laughs> skeleton pirates from hell. Now the trick it's here not... is that he is act uh, he is here and he can help you find the bell by um yes I'll tell you if I think we're close but Carry you have to actually around. carry him This this is this is pretty funny actually And if you fall into any of the wrong uh, holes you have to go and pick uh, pick him back up That's right and if you drop him and he falls off screen you have to go back to that oasis to start over again you can also throw him in the ocean. But there's nothing in the ocean in this game. Me and my pirate skull head friend. <laughs> I got sand in me mouth. Stupid levers. Now, oh, okay, yes, I do show off that you can use use the desert as an infinite rupee source. You can use any any land in this game as an infinite rupee source. Unfortunately, this is not where it is, but there is this here. But this guy wants to sell you bullshit. A shield for 100 rupees. Kyle, you're not going to get any customers trying to swindle us like that. Not to mention, you're, also, you're already very difficult to access. Yeah, there's He's apparently kind of... sandstorms in this, in this place. We're also in the, we're in the desert of bad business economics. So yeah, we have to find the head again. Yep, and I don't realize that yet. Yeah, as I recall, every time, every time you have to reset this part, the quicksand that actually takes you to the bell changes. I'm not entirely sure about that because I think it's, I think it's almost always in not these ones, but the ones on the other screen. Oh wait, here oh, it is. Uh. That, that is really startling, by the way, when he just starts chopping like that. <laughs> it's like, oh, God. We have found the bell. You got a bell. Well, at least I can go out to the afterlife now, dick. Bye. <laughs> it's, your fuck it's your problem now, asshole. <laughs> yep, and in the next part, we will go and repair the captain's rusty bell. Gonna need a bell after this.